Close your eyes and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And then watch it all the way through the in breath, all the way through the out. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Try to find a rhythm of breathing that feels good for the body right now. It might be shorter or in short, out long, in long, out short. Fast, slow, heavy, light. See what kind of breathing feels good now. Because you need to strengthen the mind. And a good way to strengthen the mind is to find a good place for it to stay inside. It's one of our needs in life is endurance. We have to put up with a lot of things in life. Physical pain, we put up with the harsh words of other people. Just laziness, weakness. We need mental strength to compensate for these things. And this is a good place to do it, right here, right now. Get the mind with a sense of well-being right here. When it gathers its forces right here, when it's not scattered around, then it can be strong. And it can see where its strong points are. So when something comes along that requires a lot of endurance, you're not focusing on how difficult it is outside, or difficult it is with that particular problem. You focus instead on where your strong points are. You draw on your strengths. And that makes endurance a lot easier. So what are some good strengths to have? Conviction that what you do will serve you well now and on in the future. All too often people say, well, it doesn't make any difference what I do, so why put forth an effort? That's weakness right there. You need to strengthen yourself. Then there's persistence. If you notice that your mind is saying things to itself that make it hard to endure, learn to speak in other ways. Let go of those unskillful habits and develop some skillful habits in the place. And the mind says, I can't stand this any longer. Well, ask you, can, is, it going to, is it going to kill you? Well, usually no. Then the part that's really hard to stand is the mind's complaints to itself more than anything else. So just drop those complaints and you'll find that life is a lot easier and endurance is a lot more possible. You develop mindfulness, you develop concentration, you develop discernment to see exactly what it is that's hard to bear. Because in, as you go through life, things are going to get more difficult than they are right now. There's going to be aging, illness, ultimately death. And if you have trouble keeping your mind under control under relatively comfortable circumstances like this, what are you going to do when things get hard? You need to develop strength right now, the ability to see where the suffering is coming from and where you can do to stop it. That all comes from developing these inner strengths, conviction, persistence, mindfulness, concentration, discernment. When you have those things, then Maybe things are easy to endure. Easy things don't make any impression at all. They don't weigh you down at all. That way, instead of complaining about where the things are difficult, you focus on where things are good, where things inside you have that you have strength that you can help, help bear with things that are coming at you that otherwise would be hard to bear. Like with harsh words from other people. Just tell yourself, this is the nature of human speech. You go all over the world, people will be saying harsh things, people are saying nasty things. So what this person is saying to you right now is not all that much out of the ordinary. So there's no reason to get upset. Just remind yourself, you were the one who wanted to be born in the human realm to begin with. And this is what the human realm contains. So if you want better than this, you've got to improve the quality of your mind. So instead of blaming the other person, you look for where you can strengthen yourself inside. And that solves a lot of problems right there.